A local woman who volunteers with the American Heart Association has an important warning today. She says stress, anger, or frustration can be hazardous to your health. Medical reporter Liz Bonus shows you how. No, I was running 100 miles an hour all the time. As a busy artist, Sarah Bellamy was living the dream until one day she barely made it home in time to call a neighbor in her building and say, I've left the elevator door open. Can you get an ambulance here? And that's about all I remember. It's all she remembers because she had a heart attack. After surgery, she realized when it came to her emotions, I wasn't paying attention to me in a huge way. Dr. Erin Freeze says she sees this same problem in many younger women in her practice. Stress, frustration, and anger from overloaded lives shows up in blood pressure, depression, and serious risks for having a heart attack. Because you can't underestimate the connection between your emotion and your mental health and your physical health. Dr. Freeze often refers her patients to Dr. Nikki Instone, a behavioral health specialist, who says, What we tend to do is the more things we have on our plate, something has to get scraped off, and the first thing that gets scraped off is taking care of you. Dr. Instone suggests healthy coping mechanisms for stress, frustration, and anger because if what you do with your anger just uh, does damage to yourself, to other people, to the relationship or property, that was not a healthy way to be expressing that anger. She points out that it is natural to feel this emotion and most of us on any given day are probably going to encounter something that will make us angry. But there are certain ways or certain tools that can help you actually adapt to sort of altering that emotion or at least your response to it. I had to relook at a whole lot of things. It's not just go to the hospital and have this repaired. It is really looking at yourself fully and deeply, and that's a tough arena. Sarah Bellamy has done that. Now, in addition to her love of art, she takes time to love herself. My work is to calm down. My work is to pay attention. If you don't, she says, you might not get a chance to see the beauty in life and in art that's all around you. Downtown Lisbon is Local 12 News. The American Heart Association has a guide for women to learn more about heart attack risks. And we have a link for you at local12.com. The Heart Ball is also Saturday. You're invited to attend. Local 12 is a proud sponsor of the event, and Brad will be the MC.